Yeah, morning, everyone. Morning, James. Yeah, great to be here. Uh, Friday, some people say, uh, oh, what is that? Turn. Yeah, well, it's a good, when it's a Friday, then it's really good. But it's a Friday. Uh, and I think there's a restaurant. Thank God it's a Friday. There's that. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. Yes. <laughs> there's also that rest, restaurant, actually. Mm -hmm. Thank God it's a Friday. Yes, a restaurant chain. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for for coming and uh, uh, thank you, uh, Linda. Actually, Linda Sepide, to give me this opportunity for me to share uh, something today. And um, I've just put in uh, the the topic there in in the chat. Uh, Self discipline as a tool to overcome as a tool to overcome life's challenges. Um, yeah, life, life of course, is, a, is full of what we call challenges, but actually whatever we call challenges are, are, are a necessity to uh, what life to be, to be life. Because we are, as human, be as human beings, we, are, we have a power. But as be, as all creations and anything, anything created has got a purpose, and we are here because of, for that purpose. Now, as human beings, we seem to be a bit more advantaged in that we can change our purpose we, in, in, depending on what we want. We have a, what we call will. Other creatures like uh, like birds, like fish, uh, like trees, really they don't have. Can, they can only just decide to do whatever they like. But um, the advantage in that with them, then they, they tend to agree to what we would call natural laws better than ourselves. Because as human beings, we can overcome things, and therefore, at times, we, we choose whatever decision we make. They are not necessarily in line with our, the purpose for which we are here. Yeah, uh, here in, in Morocco, of course, we talk about the fact that Morocco is established for for us to serve the people. But in, uh, in order to, to be able to know that that's the purpose, we have got to be telling ourselves every day. So uh, generally, as human beings, we need, we need this. You see, a tree uh, grows and, and actually gives us uh, oxygen, and it does just that. A bird is a purpose to fly, and it flies. It's, it's a fish purpose to swim. It does swim. Now, what is the what is our purpose? And that's that's where we then get these kind of cha challenges. So one of the things that that I think is a, is a hel helps us is that uh, of self discipline. Um, self discipline, whereby we need to be that to have that kind of self control. Uh, whereby we we need to not be dictated upon the, the by the the external factors that come out upon us, and so we kind of have to be able to wake up every day to say, okay, this is a, a new day, um, and you can imagine waking up and saying, I'm having that crystal clear focus on what matters that day. We may every day, not just one day, but every day. Now, of course, some people have done it and some people are doing it. And when they do that, no challenge, no change in their lives that, that actually faces that, that focus. So self-discipline is one of those. Um, one way in, the, in which we, we, if we are self-disciplined, in which we do, we, 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 we want to, to practice that is to say, for example, practicing delayed gratification um, uh, by just, for example, just saying, okay, I've got this, this money, but I'm going to save it. Uh, all of you, perhaps, some for some people, it is, diff it is very easy. For most people, it may not be easy to save, to save the money. But by doing that, you, you kind of deny yourself uh, the gratification now for the future. Uh, some people would say that uh, you save it for 
uh, another day and a, 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 a rainy day, you save whatever you save will help you when you are in this situation, which is hard. Um, but practicing self uh, uh, self uh, delaying delayed gratification is not so so easy. But we also did it actually when we were training, when we were at school. We really delayed. We 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 knew that at at the end of of this schooling, at the end of the un the university, there will be um, there will be something a certificate that will help us to then enjoy what comes with the, the certification, what comes with the degree, what comes with the, this career, uh, the career, what comes with the learning of this skill. Uh, so uh, that's one uh, one way uh, practicing uh, self uh, delayed gratification that would cause us to be disciplined to know we are near, now looking at the end game. We are looking at the end game and whatever comes in between between here and the end game will not delay, will not uh, divert us. There is a good, a good film or there is a good, a, a good entertainment. There is a leisure. You want to pay for it. You say, well, no, I will delay. I will save that one uh, for now. I will overcome. I will just overcome that. I will, I will sacrifice that for what I want to do in the future. Another one, uh, when we are out uh, having uh, practicing this self-control or self-discipline, um, they say, but why is he doing that? Why should, we, why should we be doing that? I mean, you don't have to do that. I don't think they would, they would, they, they would even succeed. Yeah, he's, going, he's not going to succeed. Uh, the naysayers, they, those are called naysayers, that kind of voice. Sometimes it, happen, it happened, you can actually be a naysayer by yourself when you are pursuing something, especially when you pursue something and then eventually you don't, you don't achieve it. You may say, oh, I think this is, this is hopeless, I will not go. And that is a, 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 a negative saying. The naysayer outside, outside is, might be even more influential. So by putting plugs in the ears and saying, no, you just ignore them, you just ignore naysayers. And that by doing that again, you are disciplined to focus on what you want to do or on the purpose for which actually you are created. All of us uh, purposeful, we are created to contribute to something. Uh, I just talked about the trees. The trees give us of oxygen, the sun. The sun gives us light. You know, all these other creatures, they all creations, they do what they are purpose to do. Now, what about us? So once you know that, okay, that is what I'm purpose to do, that's my purpose, then just ignore any any uh, criticism that is not in line with that which you are purposed to do or you are purposed to, like, to live by. Yeah. Could it be a challenge? That could be a challenge, actually. But then by ignoring, you are uh, you are training yourself to to con to be a self-controlled person who will get get along and achieve this that you are purposed why you are here we are here to actually to contribute you are here to you you want to be to uh, to, to do this course SCCA, we always encourage those who have not done SCCA, please go in and do it uh, and some people may say how, how can you cannot do it? cannot do that actually um when i when i was doing this course there are some people who were saying but already teacher why are you doing the SCA? SCA is is so it's so hard why should you be doing that and i had to actually ignore that because uh, um the that voice was not in line with what i wanted to do just had to ignore because <laughs> in fact at one time i i i advised my friends that you know if you are you are discussing things about the SCCA. Sometimes it could be that the kind of um, uh, challenges you are meeting in your study. So actually, just go ahead and discuss it with another person who is going through, who another student who is going through the same. Otherwise, other people might not might not understand. They may think, "Oh, you are just you are just dumb. How come that you even fail that paper? Why should you be doing that?" You know. So ignore nays naysayers when you have a purpose, once you discover the purpose, how do you discover the purpose? I think you will, you will do, because of course all of us, uh, once you have been given that task, I feel that would be the purpose. 
you are because that that task that you have gained, and I'm just using the, the example of SSA, ASEAN and Morocco, we encourage those who have not done it, please do it. And that would be the purpose because at the end of that, you are going to be contributing to uh, to the society in, in all ways. So that is a purpose. Now, and that can be, um, yeah, that can be, dis that you can be discouraged from that by people saying, mm, well, you have already this one. You don't have to, you don't need, you don't, you don't need that, you know, and those are the naysayers. But by now overcoming that, you become then self-controlled to be focused uh, and you have got that uh, crystal clear goal that you set. Mm. Yeah, another one of, another point of so how we improve our self-discipline in order to overcome any challenge that comes us is of course goal setting and the um, various ways in which we've talked about goal setting. Yeah, so set a goal. Um, once you have that goal, you really, uh, you are not going to be diverted. You'll be self-disciplined, you'll be focused, you'll be uh, relentlessly uh, eyeing what, where you are, we are going and everything, every activity that you do is within that. And therefore you become a self-disciplined uh, Unstoppable, unstoppable in, in what you are uh, purposed to do. And eventually, obviously, you become um, very valuable. You, you become invaluable. Uh, whatever you do is, in, is very valuable. In, in other words, invaluable. whatever activities that you do are invaluable. Yeah. Another po uh, point is the, uh, when a challenge comes is to play the victim. You know, play the victim. Never play the victim, uh, and let, just look at that challenge as uh, part of the process. Because before you reach where you want to go, there is a process. So the process is is that the one that would enable you to reach where you go. So, but at times when the challenges, maybe people are talking, as I've still talked about that, or maybe uh, things are not going the right way. Uh, then you play the victim because of because of Sanso. No, it's because of this. Oh, the, it's because of the, um, uh, this way I was working, and uh, and someone was challenged about how come they put the figure, how come the figures are not right in that uh, whatever and whatever they were typing. How come that figure was uh, uh, is not right? I mean, you should have done that. And then this person used to say, "No, it is my finger." <laughs> It's my finger which mistyped, it's not me. <laughs> and, they, and actually this person was serious. If you challenged how neat you would really be right in trouble. Yeah, and uh, she was play, playing playing the, the victim. So she was victimized by her finger type a figure which was not supposed to be typed. Yeah, never play the victim. When you play the victim, then that puts you in a, a situation where you are, you are not taking on this challenge or you are not taking on the advantage of a challenge which allows a diversity to come to adversity to come to to be, to be an advantage. Adversities may come in our lives, but they really uh, uh, play out as advantages because that is life. Really, life has got to come in. There's the, the, there is a, 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 a kind of a philosophy called stoicism. Stoicism, whereby you you allow hard, hardship to come into your way in order for, to overcome everything. For example, you would say, I will go without eating. Uh, like maybe first you go without eating. Then when you go without eating, then you experience hunger. By, by experiencing the hunger, then you also become aligned, you, come, you empathize, you are living in the space of those people who are hungry, not by choice like yourself, but without choice. So you become, you, you become empathetic with those kind of people. So by experiencing some of these hardships, we do that. And again, that's, that also improves uh, self-discipline. Uh, yeah, so playing the victim, again, is something that denies us or denies you to, to face the challenge face-to-face -face and also uh, squeeze out all, all the juice of advantages, all the juice of training, all the juice of you becoming the better version of yourself because that challenge has come. So do not uh, play uh, the victim. Now, um, 
another uh, another aspect is the the fact that uh, we have to be focused because when we are self different uh, when, when we are self self disciplined that focus uh by learning how 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 are people how do people focus to what to one goal all the time your eye are, are one i mean um you get people say for example i run i was give an example of a sprint a sprinter when you are sprinting it's just 10 seconds 10 to 12 seconds or 13 seconds you are already having you are done you with your race you are not yeah once once the once they get on your marks, okay, what well, we say that normally it's the gun really. Once the gun goes, you are not you are not looking at anything else. You are looking at just the finishing line. And I think in life that's what we need to do. If there is any challenge, you you you, you even someone wants to stop you, you even just push them away from the, there. There, uh, there is this big storm in life that has come. Just push it away, but pick out the advantage in that storm. And as they say, to every dark cloud, there is uh, a silver lining. So by doing that, we overcome um, we overcome the challenges of life. And at the end, we become self-disciplined. We become, we persevere. Self-discipline self brings in perseverance. Uh, it brings in endurance. It brings in confidence. And uh, you are also bringing uh, dependability because other people when you're a self-disciplined person uh, everyone would like to to see how you do it you know that's why all these champions that we see we look at uh, they were self-disciplined in this that they want to do uh, and, and that you uh, they become that way because of one thing which did not deter them from from their purpose and therefore they accomplished it yeah last but not least Self-discipline allows us to increase in our productivity. What does that mean? It means I'm um, contributing uh, within the purpose, as the pup, as I'm purpose to. I'm contributing to the society. I'm contributing to Morocco. I'm contributing to my friends of the family. As I'm, um, and self-discipline does that does help us to do that. You know, I'm contributing. I'm contributing. We are here to contribute and there's always something to contribute. So if there's anything that talks to me or self-talk self, self -talk that tells me I can't, I'm not contributing, then I have got to find out a way of actually overcoming that and uh, um, just aim at really being uh, a, dependable, a dependable person and uh, having that resilience to overcome all these challenges that will hinder me from uh, achieving my goal. Or achieving the purpose for which I'm created. Mm. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm just going to allow, uh, well, I'm just going to invite others that might want to add on to this topic. Hi, James. Hi, good morning. Good morning, oh. everyone. Hello, Ritika. Yeah, good morning. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for such a great topic. It's a uh, really nice topic. And uh, like these days also, like uh, personally, uh, I have also been like uh, contemplating about the self-discipline thing because lately I have been also struggling to uh, like maintain a discipline routine for myself. So I think, yeah, that's a great topic to discuss today morning. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, uh, from what I think about the self-discipline is, uh, I think it's ability to control one's emotions and like thoughts or behavior you have, uh, like in the short term to accomplish your uh, like a specific goals you want to achieve. For that, you need to like, uh, I think you need to uh, control your uh, short term desires or goals. Like uh, you want to achieve a specific skill or you want to learn a specific skill. For that, uh, you need to work on that skill. But if you are not disciplined enough, you are not giving enough time to learn that skill. Instead of that, you are just uh, scrolling on the social media or just uh, playing on your phone or just uh, wandering here and there. In, uh, like instead of having a creating a routine or a plan and like uh, uh, strictly following that plan to uh, learn that skill, you won't be able to achieve that skill. So I think your yeah, self-discipline really comes uh, as a like really uh, like 
uh, savior to you uh, for that thing. Like it helps to uh, like create a routine for you and to like uh, make you uh, disciplined enough to learn that skill. So for uh, uh, thing, that thing, uh, self-discipline really helps to overcome uh, like other life challenges as well, I think. Uh, it helps to like uh, not only it helps to achieve our like uh, goals we have in our life or like uh, whatever goals we have set for our uh, uh, self for uh, either it's for short term or it's for long term. Other than that, it thinks like you have mentioned the gratification. Like we should delay the gratification we have. Uh, uh, I think it comes from the self discipline. Like uh, uh, like you want to work on something or you want to learn something, but uh, like you might have a desire or like. A, gratification like you oh i can just uh, uh see this video or i can just watch this fun video and after that i can work but if you uh go that way you you will not even realize how much time you have wasted there so i think in that case if you just self gratify that uh, reward you have for yourself and uh, control your emotions and work on yourself uh i think in that way like self-discipline help us to like control those emotions or desire we have in to like delay that gratification and reward we want for ourselves. And other than that, yeah, self-discipline also helps to uh, uh, help us to like strengthen our mind. Like it helps to train our mind to uh, uh, be strong, more uh, strong and to like uh, also help to uh, like endure any setbacks we face. Like if you are mentally strong, cause uh, any person who uh, like practice self-discipline in their da daily life, they are uh, usually mentally more stronger than average person who just you know, uh, like don't know how to delay their gratification and they are just instantly running toward uh, to uh, get that reward they have just achieved instead of just delaying them. So I think uh, that person would be more mentally strong and more mentally resilient to any of the stress or anxiety uh, kind of emotions as well and it also helps to improve our health as well like a person who is self-disciplined would also like uh, take care of their, of their health they would go, uh, like uh, regularly exercise and maintain the uh, good health so that would also help them to keep uh, uh, them productive at the workplace as well and they uh, also help to like build a relation with other people because like if you have self like if you are practicing self-discipline you will have a uh, control in, over your emotions. So you won't be just reacting to any situation emotionally. Instead, you will be just, instead you will be just, you know, uh, like uh, have a break or a pause for a moment and you will think about it, like whatever you are saying. Uh, and after that, you will reply a reward to other person. So that would also like, you know, save your relations. You won't be saying anything in anger, like you don't mean or something. So I think that there also less self-discipline comes to your health because uh, you are like uh, self-disciplining yourself. So you have a, a restraint or like a control over your emotions. So I think, yeah, that's where also self-discipline comes to help. And yeah, and self-discipline uh, obviously helps to achieve our goals or whatever uh, we have set for ourselves in our life. Uh, and yeah, we can practice self-discipline because uh, it's not a thing like you can just uh, uh, start from day one. You need to be like practicing it daily, uh, like through small steps. That's how you can build self-discipline uh, for a longer term to achieve your goals. And yeah, I think, yeah, that's my contribution. Thank you, Jane. Oh, thank you so much, Ritik. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a, that's a, that's a, a big bowl full of... <laughs> Of tips in self discipline, I just like the the that special relationship whereby you you really uh, if you are mentally strong in relationship or someone has annoyed you, you really don't react. Instead, you put in kind of indeed this reacting to especially when someone has wronged you. Not that they haven't, not that you have not been hurt, but uh, when you are mentally strong and you are disciplined, then you practice that self control, and then you now. Um, look to why have they done this? What have how why have they said that kind of word to me? Or why have, how come they are gossiping about me? So then that why then allows you to think, and then as you think over it, then you have you have a uh, saved. I mean, you have actually um, saved the relationship. But if you do, then uh, kind of bust out and so on <laughs> then that kills the relationship and eventually you'll say oh no i shouldn't have done that i think i was more i was more mature than that yeah that was really uh it's a, a good one and there would really and other tips whereby 
again it improves our health yeah because health wise if you're in a relationship you 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 find yourself in a situation where you are busting out there's chemicals are coming into your 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 body your pressure increases and eventually some people actually have been known to even get a heart attack heart failure because of that because of anger you know yeah so no thanks a lot and also the fact that the it it allows you to um when you set your goals you are able to achieve them because you will not look at this and social media i think is just <laughs> social media is just uh, something else you look at th- this video and then there will be another one because when it ends something is is uh, the the one who made the content was that he makes this one and there's another one that follows so when you you finish that then you say play on and then you go on and you say okay it will be 20 minutes uh, by the time you know it is 4 hours you know so and then that could have been maybe a chapter in this nice skill that you are achieving yeah really self discipline is important and uh, thank you so much ritika for those uh, uh tips mm. any other person Okay. Uh would that mean that the if there is no other person I might uh, I may take it back. Now okay. So we are now in this one then we are going just to do two thing, three things actually. And all the three start with P. Practice, practice self self discipline and the number three practice because that's what they say practice makes perfect. maybe it might not it never becomes perfect we self discipline never becomes perfect but it becomes a routine a way of life uh and uh, we just become better and better because the the best of ourselves has yet to come the best of yourself is yet to come the best of james is yet to come the best of ritika is yet to come jessica is yet to come the best of florence is yet to come i can name them them you all the best of you is yet to come and this too self discipline will allow us to achieve our best uh not today but sometime and uh, it will never come anyway and that's the the, the beauty of, of life because if the my best has not come then i must i have something i'm pursuing and something something i'm 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 um i want to come i want it to to get there so there will be those small steps that we have today even today today is yet another day for us to achieve part of the best of ourselves mm. thank you so much and uh, i will hand it over to linda linda was did i hand it over to you now yes thank you so much james thank you for um today's topic yeah it was a good one thank you i will just close our meeting here for today Um thank you everyone and um have a wonderful day guys and have a wonderful weekend as well and please remember if you have not yet um uh, submitted your application uh for the mindset training program please get some time and do that today i believe today is the last uh day yeah so please let's make sure that we get some time off and actually um sending our applications and as we mentioned yesterday that if you don't if you're not eligible you can um um communicate uh with Sepide and she will be able to help you to see how you can go about that yeah otherwise have a great day guys thank you have a great day thank you Linda. thank you James thank you. for such thank a you, great thank you James thank you James, yeah. thank you, James. Yeah. Thank you, James.